So hello and welcome everybody to the Social Today Show and thank you for watching if you're watching the replay and a big welcome if you are watching live. So uh, I've missed doing these Social Today Shows this week uh, due to work over the bridge in uh, in Gloucestershire. Been really busy on uh, Monday and uh, Tuesday this week, so it's uh, great to be uh, back with you. Uh, welcome, uh, Sarah. Welcome, uh, everybody, to the uh, to the show. So, uh, lots of good stuff for you today. So, going to basically cover off what I would have covered off uh, yesterday in terms of social media uh, news and uh, sort of working a few tips um, into uh, into that. And uh, also an example, interesting example, uh, just a, a small sort of thing, but a good way uh, I spotted yesterday of raising awareness of your social uh, social networks. It illustrates uh, a good point of uh, using your offline marketing channels uh, and possibilities as well as your online to uh, promote your uh, your social networks. So uh, welcome uh, Black Country uh, uh, welcome to the uh, to the show. So it's all about uh, social media. So going to sort of give a bit of a social media news roundup. So kicking off with uh, virtual reality first of all, uh, going to be a big thing when it comes to social media this year. Welcome, uh, Gerald. Uh, good morning. Uh, and uh, yeah, virtual reality is going to be given a double fold boost really in terms of the hardware. The uh, company uh, that um, Facebook uh, took over, uh, Oculus Rift, uh, they are producing a headset this year and it's now available for uh, for pre-order. And uh, perhaps more significantly in terms of numbers and also uh, prior to that, uh, yesterday uh, people took release of Samsung Gear VR headsets uh, free, uh, given away with uh, Samsung S7 uh, new uh, new phone. And uh, indeed mine is arriving later today, so uh, quite excited uh, about getting the new phone there uh, and uh, playing around with the uh, virtual reality uh, headset. Uh, sounds like a transport. Yeah, it does, uh, does a bit. Yeah, uh, absolutely. It's a good uh, good point. Uh, I was thinking, again, thinking about this, um, sort of how things have uh, changed and how they might uh, develop social media wise, uh, just sort of keeping things quite, uh, quite simple. And uh, I think, you know, if you think back to a few years when we did a status update, sort of five years ago, maybe it was just text, you know, there was no pictures then. And then a couple of years after that, we started uploading pictures as uh, mobiles began to uh, take off. Then it became possible to add a video. And more recently, we've got this. We've got uh, Periscope live streaming video. And any day now, Facebook in the UK, in fact, some people have already got it, will be launching Facebook Live, which is their uh, live version of uh, of video just like uh, just like periscope so it'd be interesting to see how um, how that uh, develops and then what's coming next well what's coming next of course is uh, VR is uh, is virtual reality so we'll be able to put out a, a status update using uh, Facebook um, uh, and we will then uh, in the same way exactly the same way that you can use Facebook live now and I imagine it will be the same uh, perhaps on uh, on Twitter who's going to get there first obviously uh, Facebook, um, seeing as they're way more uh, innovative than, uh, than Twitter. Uh, but, but you never know, perhaps that's being a bit unkind to, uh, to Twitter. So yeah, uh, you are going to basically be able to share your experience across social network using virtual reality. So whatever situation uh, that uh, you're in, you're basically going to be use, uh, you're able to use a, a camera. These cameras already exist, such as uh, Samsung's Gear 360 camera, and broadcast your experience as a virtual reality experience to other people who are looking at uh, their newsfeed. So I, I, that's how I envisage the, the future in terms of how things are going to, going to work out. Uh, whether it will quite work out that way, who, uh, who knows, but uh, we, will, uh, we will see. Uh, so what brought me on to that was that there was a survey last week, just to give you the uh, stats here. Uh, I mean, very, um, oh, very, uh, very, very nice uh, grant, uh, blocked. Uh, so um, basically, 39% uh, in the survey want to watch movies with VR and 38% want to play games. And so it's pretty high statistics given the uh, early stages of uh, virtual reality. That was a report from uh, Touchstone Research uh, out, uh, out last week. Um, 
Facebook announced that their live videos, when they are live, they're going to be given uh, a lot of prominence in the news feed, which is quite interesting. So basically, they are. if you're going to be using Facebook Live, hopefully you're going to be getting uh, some um, uh, interest. I'll come on to that uh, DL marketing. Thank you very much for your uh, question there. Um, you're going to be able to, to get some prominence and exposure if you are using Facebook uh, Facebook Live. And Facebook say that three times as many people are watching the videos, Facebook Live videos live, as opposed to the uh, recorded uh, versions. So yeah, Twitter wobble. Well, I mean, it's quite worrying, really, uh, from a business point of view, because clearly they're not doing very well on the share price front. Uh, they're not really making much money. Uh, they're struggling with the advertising. They're struggling with the product as a whole, to be honest. They're just lacking in, uh, in innovation. Uh, but perhaps with Jack Dorsey coming back, uh, a new um, uh, head at the uh, helm, uh, we will see some uh, positive changes. But I must say that you know, like recent uh, changes that they've tried to improve um, Twitter by introducing uh, moments, for example, hasn't really worked out, has it? No one's really using it very much, uh, and it's hardly very, um, very exciting. Uh, welcome, Helen, uh, Helen Ponty. Uh, so um, yeah, um, that's really what I uh, agree. So yeah, <laughs> glad you agree with my comments there on Twitter. But hopefully, you know, hopefully they'll turn things around, and uh, we'll get to see um, uh, some. Uh, absolutely, we're training uh, VR. We'll get to see some improvements on Twitter. Absolutely, Gerald, uh, couldn't agree with you more on that because it's going to be easy to literally show people how to do stuff from a virtual reality uh, environment. And uh, you know, this could be the year of uh, VR. Quite exciting. So. Uh, lots of stuff happening there. Uh, what else with uh, Facebook? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, your business story uh, needs to check this out. Um, you can create a video in about five minutes flat. I created mine, but for some reason it didn't um, didn't publish, uh, and I haven't had time to to revisit that. Uh, but if you go to um, uh, well, if you go to the new summary on Internet uh, Future. Uh, dot com, my latest blog post, 7th of March. There is a link to the Your Business Story uh, video there. Uh, thanks for your uh, comment there, uh, DL uh, Marketing, very kind. Uh, and um, you will go to Your Business Story, but let me just, uh, that's what it's called. It's basically an easy way to create a uh, video using still pictures and you can add some music to it. Uh, and then post it onto Facebook and it appears on your Facebook page. And the address for that is yourbusinessstory.fb.com. So yourbusinessstory.fb.com. I don't know if anyone would be kind enough to uh, type that into the, uh, into the comments. Yourbusinessstory.fb.com. And you can yeah, create a nice little uh, video there that lasts. Uh, it has eight photos that you can pick. Uh, you can add a music soundtrack and it lasts for uh, 15, uh, 15 seconds. So a new feature from Facebook there. Uh, and uh, yeah, it might be worth uh, doing. Uh, easy way to create a video and uh, raise exposure for your business with the Your Business Story uh, video tool on uh, on Facebook. Thanks very much, uh, Sarah. There's the uh, there's the address. Uh, welcome, Grant. Uh, good to have you um, have you on the show, uh, Grant. Uh, so a couple of Facebook rumours, um, not um, not fact, uh, but it looks like we'll be able to invite people to events via email uh, rather than necessarily them being on Facebook. So that could be quite handy. So possibly they're trying to challenge services like uh, Eventbrite and uh, Book When there uh, a little bit. Uh, and another rumour, publishers will be able to publish content uh, via Facebook Messenger. Uh, apparently, uh, Built, the German newspaper, are starting to test the sending of articles to people using Facebook uh, Messenger, which is quite interesting. Uh, so, uh, presumably, you have to opt in for that. <laughs> I guess with a service like that, uh, it could be a big sort of risk of uh, spam and getting unwanted stuff via, uh, via Messenger. Um, but uh, that remains to be seen. But it could be quite interesting. Um, for consumers and publishers if you can send content uh, via Facebook uh, Messenger. So uh, lots of stuff happening and going to happen with Facebook Messenger. Probably be able to buy stuff pretty soon. Um, there's a service where you can order a, a, an Uber taxi uh, in some parts of the, uh, of the US using Facebook Messenger. So we're going to see more uh, commerce via Facebook uh, Messenger. Uh, LinkedIn uh, boosts the accuracy of their targeting for advertisers. It's called something that's called uh, account targeting. 
and in their description I get the sort of rough gist but their description is really it's truly awful um, they need your help actually Sarah Townsend um, content co contact LinkedIn if you if you check out this account targeting uh, service and the how does it work I can't figure out how it works there's just so much jargon in there it's really impossible to uh, to, to understand so um, uh, but anyway if you advertise on LinkedIn basically it's an improvement in the service so that's probably all I can uh, uh, pass on to you uh, there uh, Twitter uh, I have actually got one bit of interesting uh, Twitter news uh, the very first Apple social media account has launched on uh, Twitter uh, they've chosen Twitter for, for that it's taken uh, been a long time coming because they've uh, shied away from um, uh, social uh, network accounts and social media and uh, it's Apple support that's it so at Apple support uh, it's a US based uh, Apple account on uh, on Twitter so uh, check uh, check that out and uh, so if you want to um, put up um, that uh, account name anybody uh, at Apple support I'd uh, I'd appreciate uh, appreciate that uh, oh lots of people to uh, to block today this is getting me uh, keeping me very uh, very busy here keeping the fingers uh, fingers busy uh, so uh, Instagram um, oh yes Instagram if you have a what they call an add me link on Instagram so if you're basically plugging another social network and a lot of people uh, do this so they give their Twitter account uh, or a Facebook account or another um, social media account in their little Instagram bio you'll probably see that that account is disabled uh, or not account sorry the link is disabled so um, do um, basically disable do remove that because you're just wasting space there now if you're plugging another social network on your uh, Instagram uh, bio so uh, yeah um, do uh, remove that and make better use of the space keywords are good uh, to put in your Instagram bio tell people why they should uh, why they should follow you uh, Meerkat, uh, so um, um, uh, Twitter and Facebook allow it, yeah I think you meant to put in Twitter there um, but uh, the point is then Grant that Instagram are no longer uh, allowing uh, allowing that. Um, should I just type in my hashtag, uh, if, yeah if you want to get in touch with me, uh, my friend, my boyfriend Jim then, uh, basically just at Internet Future on right away across social media Twitter would be my preferred uh, method for you to uh, contact me that would be great Meerkat so Meerkat it was all about Meerkat when live streaming kicked off uh, before Periscope uh, came along and now we've got Facebook Live so possibly as a as a result <laughs> this, guy, this guy wants to send me some uh, send me some money uh, yes any money will uh, will do it's no problem at all um, Meerkat is no longer using um, Facebook um, Excuse me, is no longer uh, using live video uh, streaming. Do you think it's a good idea to link to her? Uh, no, in a word, uh, TGM photography. Thanks for that great, uh, great question. No, I mean, there are different beasts. Really, lots of reasons why you shouldn't. You should have a separate objective for your Facebook account and your Twitter account. And absolutely, make it personal uh, per account there. And also, there's technical differences too. You know, you've got the restriction of 140 characters on Twitter, which doesn't apply on Facebook. Hashtags do work on Facebook, but they're not really a thing. So probably best not to use hashtags too much over on uh, on Facebook. So yeah, keep them uh, keep them separate. Uh, I would. I know it's a bit more effort, um, but it is worth doing. The only exception to that is you've got something that you want to plug. So maybe if you're got a bit of a talk or an event that you want to mention or you've just published a blog post then um, probably not a bad idea to uh, put that right the way across your uh, your social media uh, networks uh, my LinkedIn hasn't generated but should I keep paying um, yeah well with uh, LinkedIn um, probably not I would say um, go back to the free version there's loads that you can do on the free version so get the free work version working on LinkedIn before uh, you make use of all the premium features. So um, just to clarify on that Meerkat point, getting towards the end of the news now, uh, they're no longer doing live streaming and they're going to focus on a video type uh, social uh, social network. Uh, so um, basically um, you know, there's one less person in the picture, Periscope and uh, Facebook Live are now going to be the two live streaming uh, services. 
And finally, I uh, always give you a number of the week, usually on Monday, but uh, just getting around to it today, uh, Wednesday. So my number of the week is uh, 3 million. Uh, and 3 million is the number of advertisers on, uh, on Facebook. Uh, 3 million people, number of advertisers on Facebook now. And the Your Business Story video that I mentioned earlier that you can create on Facebook that Sarah kindly um, uh, put the uh, link to on the screen. Uh, that is in celebration of the 300 million advertisers. And finally, uh, before I go, uh, where is it? Just want to show you uh, a nice um, example I came across yesterday when I was working with Clarkson Evans, doing a bit of LinkedIn training uh, for them in Cheltenham. So this is, as you can see, it's a parking permit. Uh, they give you to uh, put on your car, uh, but the interesting thing is on the flip side where they've got this, I love this, keep in touch, uh, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, visit the website, and even give a reason for visiting the website. Visit clarksonevans.co.uk uh, for company news and our latest vacancies. Yeah, uh, as Sarah says, uh, that is very, very nice. Great use of space. Otherwise, you know, that space there uh, would just be uh, just be wasted. Um, so the uh, tip is to, you know, don't forget, I know social networks are obviously online, digital, but don't forget your offline means of promoting your social networks to grow your audience, raise awareness and uh, grow, your, uh, grow your followers. So we're talking printed material, brochures, uh, clothing even, uh, t-shirts, um, post, uh, yeah, did I say posters? <laughs> um, signage is another one and uh, that kind of, uh, kind of stuff. Tattoos, uh, only, uh, only kidding. Um, really anything uh, offline that uh, that you can think of to uh, promote your uh, your social networks. So that's it for uh, today. Um, 15 minute show, slightly 16 minute show, slightly longer than normal perhaps, but hopefully provided a bit of uh, bit of value for you today, having uh, been away for Monday and Tuesday due to work uh, commitments. Uh, so um, yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day today, whatever you are doing, uh, folks. Yeah, have a good day, everybody everybody uh do follow me at internet future oh one final thing um oh thank you very much uh, sue um one final thing is that i'm doing now i'm going to try and keep it up every monday doing a blog post with social media news um so do check that out um harley davidson do well with tattoos uh they do they, they do indeed i don't know if they promote their social networks on using tattoos but that would be interesting if they did um, yeah, you will obviously get the scoop first on my Monday's uh, show on social media news, but if you want to follow that up, back that up with a blog post later in the day, there will be a blog post, and that also goes out, a bit of a summary of that, and a link to that goes out in my newsletter with some other good stuff on a Monday, which again, I'm going to try and keep up every Monday, just a short newsletter. So you can sign up for that newsletter, internetfuture.com, at the bottom of the, uh, of the homepage. So uh, please do sign up to that newsletter to keep in touch. So uh, that's enough for me today. Back tomorrow, I've got a tool lined up for you tomorrow, a useful uh, tool uh, when it comes to social media, third party tools. So back at uh, 8.45 a.m. tomorrow. So uh, have a good day and uh, see you then. Bye for now.